Hey everyone, welcome to the Interacti tutorial. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of creating your first digital crossword. These digital crosswords can be completed online via mobile, tablet, and desktop, or you can even print them out and play offline. The best part is, you have the freedom to add your personal touch to the design. It's quick and simple, so let's jump right into the tutorial. To get started, head over to interacti.me. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in. If not, sign up to create a new Interacti profile. Once you're logged in, click on the Template Gallery button at the top of the screen. Look for the Crossword feature and select it. Now, you'll see a page with various templates. You can either start with a blank template or choose a pre-made one and customize it to your liking. For this tutorial, I'll start from scratch with a simple template. Click Use this template. Fantastic! You're now in the editor. Let's begin by adjusting the initial settings for your crossword. On the right side of your screen, you can choose the color theme, preferred font, and letter color for your crossword. You can also mark correct letters or whole words for highlighting. This means that when you type a correct letter or word in the crossword, it will show up as highlighted, so you know you got it right. Now, let's make your crossword more fun. In the Gamification section, you can add player ratings and timers. We'll add a countdown timer and set it to 60 seconds. Users will now have one minute to complete the crossword. The next settings block is crucial for businesses. You can embed a lead form in your project by checking the respective box, requiring users to fill it out to get their discount. Equally important are the call to action button and redirect options allowing you to guide users to your website. Now let's edit the crossword itself. Click Edit to begin. Look, it's super simple. In the word field, enter a word, and in the clue field, add a clue related to that word. You can add more words using the Add Word button or remove unnecessary ones with the trash bin icon. Enter all the words you want in your crossword and they will be automatically added. Click Next when you're done. Here you can set your final screen message. This is essentially a message that users will see after they complete your crossword. You can include a congratulatory text and an image. I'll keep the default text and image since I believe they perfectly match my crossword. Let's click Save. Next, you can set your background color or image. Let's enhance our crossword by adding a background image. Oh, and one more thing to make it even cooler. I will also add a header image. Once you're done, click on Preview to evaluate the current state of your project. Try your crossword and check how it looks on different devices. If you spot any errors or decide to make adjustments, you can return to the editor by selecting the respective menu item. Now, give your project a title. Let's name ours Crossword. After that, click Publish. Your project is ready. Share it with your audience by sending a link or embedding it on your website. Another cool thing that you can do is click the violet button and get a PDF file of your crossword that you can print and use offline. We've reached the end of our tutorial. Now you can create crosswords on whatever interests you, print them out, and enjoy the fun. Best of luck and have a great time exploring the world of crosswords.